Hi and welcome to this DCP work tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change color of content in an image using Adobe Photoshop CC. So let's open up our web browser and I'm going to download this image and I'll put a link to this image in the YouTube description. So we'll click download here. You find the same link in the YouTube description and you can use a different picture, but maybe use the same one I'm using for now so you can learn how this is done and we'll open up Photoshop. So I'm going to take this image and just drag and drop it into Photoshop. Let's drag and drop that into here. So we've got the image in here and the objective is to change the color of what she is wearing. That's kind of what I want to try and achieve. So to do that, we're going to go to select and we want to select color range here. So this little dialogue will pop up and we've got a few different options in here. We've got a drop down menu. And the drop down menu allows us to select specific colors. So you've got your RGB or your uh, CKMY colors here, right? So you've got all, you select, if I selected yellow, you can see quite a lot of yellow. So anything that's white <clears throat> in this image down here, you see, that's going to be a part of the selection. And this isn't quite right. So what we want to do is use sampled colors. So when we click sample colors, we can click on this little eyedropper here and we can pick at a specific orange color. So if I were to pick on these colors, you'll see the selection starts to change here. Now in this drop down menu, you've got different options in here. You've got none, you've got grayscale. And if I select grayscale, then it will show me the image in the actual um, editor here, full screen. But I kind of like to leave it on none, so I can select the colors from here and see what the selection looks like in this little dialog box here. So you can see only parts of this have been selected. We ain't getting all of the oranges. So we're gonna click on the plus sign here and it says add to sample so we can select some other types of oranges in here so as i select other colors in here you can see the white is appearing more here that means that the photoshop software is selecting more of those color ranges so we can go ahead and click and try and grab more content or more colors um, for this particular image and sometimes it will select a bit of the arm or it will select something that we don't really want but i'll show you how to fix that afterwards and we're just going to pick a few different colors and um, we'll try and get this to be as white as possible as selection, right? So we want to see as much white as possible in here. Sometimes there's dark shadows, so dark shadows you can kind of leave alone. It's not That's not a problem too much. Um, but if you were to select something like quite a dark color and there's more dark colors in the image, then you'll see it starts to select the arms and the hands. So if you do that by accident, all you need to do is press Control Z. <coughs> And when we press Control Z, it will undo that last selection. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I think that's a pretty good selection for me. I'll click OK. And you can see the selection now here. Now what I want to do is um, change the um, color, right? So to do that, we'll go to Layer. And we'll go to, uh, let's see, a New Adjustment Layer. And we'll select Hue and Saturation here. And then we'll click OK. And what that does is add a layer mask. So you see the layer mask here. And then we can change the color of the clothes using the slider. And you can change the saturation. You can make it like gray scale. You can do all sorts of stuff in here, right? You can play around with the colors, um, darken them down. And our selection was pretty good because you can see the color change is working quite well. Um, but if I were to make it sort of this sort of green color, if I were to zoom into the arm, you can see the arm is having some green in there as well. We don't really want that. So we need to improve our selection a little bit. And you can see some some of the selection isn't too great down here. So depending on the color you select, you may need to adjust your, your selection a little bit, depending on which color you pick from here. Sometimes it will work out okay, like the orange here isn't too bad. You don't really see it too much on the arm and it looks like the watch is casting that orange color anyway. So it really depends on the, the sort of color you change it to, right? So we go to red, it looks looks okay. Uh, purple, pink sort of look okay, right? But let's just say, for argument's sake, we don't really want the purple on the watch here, for example, and on the arm. So to fix that, we'll move over to the layer mask here and then hold down the Alt key and click on the layer mask. And now we can see the layer mask in the actual uh, editor window here. And we can, we can tweak this layer mask. And remember, everything white is, is gonna be uh, selected and everything black is not going to be selected. So really what we want to do is use our paintbrush tool and 
we've got a paintbrush here now and we want to select black color so we're going to select black from the swatches up here or the, the color options here i'm just going to paint over the arm here and make it black basically yeah so anything that we don't want to change color on we'll just make it black so around here like this bit here then anything white that we choose will be ch color changed so what we can do is switch the color over to white so we select a white color and then we can go in here and like bits like here all of this stuff we can just paint in white sometimes it's worth just um reducing the hardness here and maybe making the brush a little bit smaller and then you can hold down the alt key and zoom right in and this is really refining the mask that's what you're doing right you're just improving the selection you can think of it almost like that so i'll just do a rough tidy up on this won't spend too long on it and we can see how that might improve the image afterwards so like here this would have been like a shadow being casted right down here let me get all this in here so that's looking okay again i would have spent a lot more time with this selection or this layer mask improve it, tidying it up cleaning it all up um, but we can just do a rough sort of selection here i don't really mind this, the, the shadow parts here i think that looks okay so we just want to clean up around the edges here quickly so let's switch it back to black and we'll just clean up just around here just make it black sometimes you've got to zoom in to see those little artifacts right you won't really see them too well but i think that's pretty good now all we do is just go back to the layer mask here let's zoom back out use the control uh, use the alt key and the mouse wheel we can zoom out again and um let's see how that worked so what we'll do is hold down the alt key and then click back on the layer mask and now we can see an improvement we can see the watch is no longer purple and the arm has been all that purple on the arm is no longer there you can see that because our selection is better right and the shadows down here are still okay that still seems to be okay if we were to zoom in you can see really that can be improved here right you can see that's not the best so let's fix that let's press the alt key and on the layer mask again so hold down the alt key left click and now we want to fill this in white so let's select a white color and we just fill this bit in here because it doesn't look right from a distance it doesn't look too bad but uh, when we get in closer it's not looking quite right is it so let's just fill this bit in here let's uh, click back out so press alt and then click back out again and we've still got a bit more to do here so what you can do is um, click on the layer mask and we've got the white color selected so we can actually do this as we're looking at the picture itself right so you can see i'm filling in this bit here uh, i think that will be okay just here and there's a little bit here that's kind of sticking out so we we'll switch over to um the black color you can just click on the bottom one here that will switch to black and then let's uh, undo that let's go back to our i think that's maybe a part of the image one minute let's see um yeah let's get rid of that there so let's zoom back out and that isn't looking too bad so we've done a quick color change and um if we were to press the alt key and click back on the layer mask we can see what the selection looks like here and we can click back out and see what it looks like here we can just go and tweak it you can maybe fix this little band here a little bit you can still see the, the orange coming through from before so it's really about spending time and effort now just to tweak the the artwork um and remember white is uh, going to show and black is going to hide think of it that way so just think of it that way and then it's quite easy to understand what's going on here so let's just undo that what we'll do is we'll, you, we'll click here on the layer mask hold down the alt key and it's really this black here we want to get white again for our selection you really need to preferably zoom right in here and do this um, a bit more accurately but we'll just do a little rough fix here and then we can click out and that should look okay now it's not too bad that's been improved so um let's go to let's um let's click back on our our image here this left side and we can change the colors now and they're changing much better right because we improved our layer mark so let's make it maybe like a pinky sort of purple purple color 
let's go to file export as we'll export as a png file let's just minimize this so then here we can see on the left hand side our original image and now we can see on the right hand side a color changed image and it's done a pretty good job we didn't spend a lot of time on this uh, we could have spent a lot more time and energy improving that layer mask right so we used the tool to make the the color selection first and that just did a rough sort of selection and then we can go in afterwards after we create our layer mask and improve that layer mask by painting in white what we want to keep and then painting in black what we want to remove and we can tweak that and we can just play around with the settings just to refine it but as a rough job a quick job just to show you the example it's not too bad so that's how you go about changing colors in an image using adobe photoshop i hope you find that tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial